Hello and welcome to everyone. This tutorial will guide users of Minitab to perform one-way analysis of variance, ANOVA and the post hoc test with interpretation of their outputs. Uh, this video will further uh, explain two different methods of data entry into the Minitab worksheet for the present ANOVA test. So let us just begin with it. The data in the following table represents the number of hours of relief provided by five different brands of Haddish tablets. Look, five different brands. So brand one is denoted with A, brand two, brand three with C, brand four with D, and brand five with E. So perform the analysis of variance and test the hypothesis at 5% level of significance that the mean number of hours of relief provided by the tablet is the same for all five brands. Discuss your results. So uh, look, this is our null hypothesis, right? The alternate hypothesis is the average relief time for at least two tablets is not same, at least two. So there are uh, multiple comparisons here, like we can compare tablet A with tablet B or tablet A with tablet C, tablet A with tablet D. So at least two of them are not same. This is one way analysis of variance because we have one factor to test and that factor is tablet in this case. Uh, we can see the same data in this format. Look, the example is same, but the data is in different shape. We have written uh, the tablets in uh, different columns and uh, these are the five uh, patients who have been given uh, tablet A. Similarly, these five B and these five tablet C and the last five have got tablet E. Okay, let us just see the same data in Minitab. Look, this is the same data. In the first column, you have relief times. In the second column, you have different tablets A, B, C, D, E. And we are going to apply analysis of variance test here. So just go to STAT and come to ANOVA. This is a one-way ANOVA since we are inspecting only one factor that is tablet. So this is one-way analysis of variance. Click here and see in the first drop-down you have two options. Response data are in one column for all factor levels. Remember your response variable is relief time here and relief time is in one column. So you will definitely pick the first option. What is the response variable? Relief time. And what is the factor? Tablet. So let us just go and see the options here. This is an assumption here for analysis of variance that uh, population mean for all groups are same. So we will assume equal variances here. Confidence level means if your alpha is 5%, uh, you will take it 95%. Click OK. Comparisons, well, comparisons, uh, these are the post hoc test, the inference beyond ANOVA. For example, you reject your null hypothesis with this data. It means that uh, all means are not same. So we wanted to identify a pair of means which are significantly different. So for that purpose, you have uh, multiple comparison tests, also known as comparison procedures. Uh, assuming equal variances. There are uh, different uh, tests available like Tucky test, Fisher, Dunnett. We will uh, just uh, have the output for the Tucky test here and we will interpret this output uh, later on. Click OK. For the graphs, you can have uh, interval plot, interval value plot or box plot for the data. The box plot uh, will uh, uh, plot five box plots uh, each for one uh, category in the tablet like for tablet A, the patient who have tablet A, the box plot for them and so on. So we may even have uh, residual plots uh, here in this uh, scenario. Let us just go with it. Individual value plot, interval plots and uh, the box plot. Click OK. After clicking OK, we will see some of the graphs and the output. So let us just see the graphs one by one. The first graph is the box plot. And you can see the comparison of five tablets here uh, with respect to different box plots. So this is a graphical uh, explanation of your data. 
this is the individual uh, value plot for leaf time versus tablet for each tablet it has plotted all the observations like if i stop on this my cursor it will shows you the individual symbol row 5 relief time is equal to 3 and similarly if i go and stop my cursor on this blue line it is a mean so individual value plot and the line from the mean of a to the mean of b and then the mean of b to the mean of c so this line joins the average for all tablets okay the interval plot let us just see the interval plots for tablet a this is the interval interval mean interval uh, estimation confidence interval 95 confidence interval it will be uh, there will be a lower limit for that interval as well as the upper limit the tablet a has a mean relief time of 5.44 and the upper limit look the interval if you can read it the interval varies from 3.83 to 7.04 whereas the average is 5.44 the sample size is 5 it is a 95 percent confidence interval for and the same is the case for other groups let us just go to the output here in one way analysis uh, of variance table we have a null hypothesis that where our means are equal and alternate hypothesis not all means are equal even if uh, at least two means are not equal it is the case dealt with the uh, alternate hypothesis significance level alpha well uh, factor information there were five factor a b c d and e and this is the analysis of variance table the all important one the tablet uh, since there were five tablets so degree of freedom for tablets is four five minus one similarly uh, well we will uh, decide uh, on this f value and the p value since the p value of 0.001 means it is less than 0.05 or even it is less than from 0.01 that is uh, alpha 1 percent so therefore we may conclude that our results are significant and uh, we will reject the null hypothesis of equality of all means so it means our null hypothesis is rejected uh, based on this p value and we conclude that the average relief time for all uh, five uh, tablets is not same it means that it opens up uh, the inference beyond no one now we will look the post hoc the tucky pairwise comparison test look here i will just explain you uh, in detail this is the output from minitab regarding the tucky pairwise comparisons actually when you have five treatments uh, tucky test compares a pair of treatments at a time for example a with b so if you have five treatments so there will be a total 10 comparisons of these five treatments taken two at a time and those 10 comparisons can be listed right here like a with b and then a with c a with d and the fourth comparison of a with e now a has been compared with the all other four treatments like a have been compared with all other four one by one and after that b with c b with d and b with e now b has been compared with the remaining three treatments similarly c with d c with e and d with e the comparison of two treatments uh, have been done by taking the difference uh, of the averages of the sample averages and that difference has been compared with the standard value of the key in order to see that whether the differences are significant or not in this output means that do not share the same letter are significantly different so for example if i have identified that b and c are significantly different look at the mean of b have letter a and the mean of c have letter b and c so b and c letter are different from a so they are not sharing the same letter b and c so b and c are significantly different here so it is just a little bit tricky to see the mini tab output just remember one rule and that rule is also written right here means that do not share a letter are significantly different so here we go now we will see that how do we unstack this data into different columns so go to data unstack columns you want to unstack the relief time with respect to the tablet and you want to put the data at the end of your uh, already available data in the sheet or click ok 
Here it has unstacked your data. Let us just see how it has done. Relief time for tablet A, relief time for tablet B, relief time for tablet C, D, and E. Now you can also rename these variables like A, B for convenience by just typing their name. So we may see that how can we apply the same uh, test and also variance on this type of data like go to stat ANOVA, one way ANOVA. This time around we will select the second option that is response data are in separate columns for each factor. Click that come here for responses now you can uh, select uh, all those responses from a to e you may press the shift button and with arrow down you can select all at once but after selecting this click this button look in the responses column it has been written from a to e okay go to options see all is same comparison well the key test and everything is same just the data entry is different other things are same if you need graphs you can check otherwise you not we have already done it so okay for results there are two type of results expanded tables or simple tables just make simple tables here okay after clicking okay you may see the results here for analysis of variance look these are the same results but with different data entry that is the end of the video. Thank you very much.